You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Hina Joshi and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give you a glimpse of our country's diversity. As the monsoon season arrives in India, the country gears up to enjoy the wet weather and its beautiful festivals that are celebrated through dancing, singing and feasting. Haryali Tej is one among these festivals that is observed with great enthusiasm across various parts of the country, presenting our rich culture and traditions. The female folk decked up in beautiful attires took to traditional dancing and singing as they celebrated the most awaited festival of Haryali Tej. Regarded as the fasting festival of Hindu married women, the occasion celebrates monsoon and the union of Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati. As a tradition, women in Northern India also visit their parents' house to celebrate the occasion. Today, the festival has taken a greater shape and is observed with great fanfare in different parts of the country. In Amritsar city of Punjab, a big event was organized by an NGO to celebrate Haryali Tej. Various activities including ramp walk were hosted for entertainment and enjoyment of women. Tej is why when the ladies were going to their mic, they were going to be able to get there to get a chance 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 to get a और ट्रेडिशनल जो पंजाब के डांसेस हैं वो करेंगे और डिफरेंट गेम्स होंगे यहाँ पे सब अपने आजकल के मौसम में सावन के में यहाँ पे सबके माइके में खीर पूड़े बनते हैं तो लेडीज जाती हैं अपने माइके अपने पति के व्रत के लिए पति की लंबी उम्र के लिए व्रत रखती हैं और काफी महत्व है इस त्योहार का पंज in Rajasthan's capital Jaipur, the festival forms the liveliest and colourful celebrations wherein a procession of Goddess Parvati is taken out from city palace over a period of at least two days. Equipped with chariots, decorated camels, dancing folk artists, brass bands and royal palanquins, the traditional procession is the ultimate hub of a large number of folk and cultural programs enjoyed by both locals as well as tourists visiting the city during this time. बेहद खुशी है कि आज हम वापस दो साल बाद इतने रॉयल तरीके से तीज का त्योहार मना पा रहे हैं। आज जैसा कि आप देख रहे हैं बहुत ही जोश है, लोगों में बहुत उत्साह है, बड़े बुजुर्ग सभी एज ग्रुप्स के लोग यहाँ पे मौजूद हैं और ये शाही तीज की माता की जो सवारी है, इन सिंदारा और तीज का जो महोत्सव है, सभी बहुत धूमधाम से मना रहे हैं। आज ऐसे लाइव इतना बात से देखकर दोबारा से वैसे ही हर्षोल्लास देखकर बहुत खुशी हो रही है और एन्जॉय कर रहे हैं। वो दो साल जो थे वो बीत गए लेकिन आज कुछ नई शुरुआत को देखकर दोबारा से बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है। Festival's grandeur was no less witnessed in other parts of the country, where women were seen playing on rope swings, singing folk songs, dancing and applying henna on each other's hand. In the capital New Delhi, a three-day-long Tej Mela was held at the heart. The carnival offered women with lots of shopping options along with involving in a number of other activities. A variety of food also left the visitors spoiled for choice. तीज का त्योहार बेसिकली सावन को सेलिब्रेट करने के लिए होता है तो फिर बहुत जगह तीज मेले भी लगते हैं और तीज मेलों में फिर जाते हैं न्यूली मैरिड के लिए स्पेशली ये बहुत बड़ा त्योहार होता है 
फर्स्ट सीट उनके लिए बहुत बड़ी होती है तो फिर वो सब तैयार होके यू नो कुछ ग्रीन कपड़े भी पहन के और सब तैयार होके जाते हैं मतलब तीज के मेले में भी जाते हैं और उसमें फिर झूले होते हैं वहाँ पे और शॉपिंग वगैरह भी जैसे भी मतलब होता है कि ऐसे करके सेलिब्रेट करते हैं हरियाली तीज इज ऑल्सो फेस्टिवल ऑफ डिवोशन टूवर्ड्स मदर नेचर एंड फैमिली it provides an opportunity for the ladies of different age groups and communities to come together and be a part of something special beat sari clad women swings on trees or mehndi artists putting impeccable designs on hands and feet it's the feeling of oneness that sets the day of haryali teej apart India as a land where Sufism has not only flourished in its true spirit but has also become a way of integrating different religious communities the unity of these myriad faiths can be very well witnessed at the dargahs of sufi saints so today we take you to dargah of baba barchi bahadur in aligarh city of uttar pradesh that has been serving as a bridge between different castes and communities Aligarh city is not just famous for its clock making and statue industry but also having a heterogeneous population of different religious communities playing an important role in bringing people of different religious communities together is done by the shrine of Sufi saint Baba Barchi Bahadur which is a bot of peace and tranquility Aaj ta yehi hai ke sabko sukh shanti rozgaron par rakhat kare baba और पूरे संसार में इंसानियत का परचम लग रहा है यहाँ मेरे हिसाब से तो ज़्यादातर मैं देखता हूँ कि ज़्यादातर हिंदू ज़्यादा लोग आते हैं मुस्लिम आते हैं लेकिन मुस्लिम तो आते ही आते होंगे लेकिन हिंदू कुछ ज़्यादा ही आते हैं इधर तो मान्यता तो है जब मान्यता है बाबा दे रहा है तो तभी तो आ रहा है वरना कौन आता है इधर दरगाह होल्ड्स ग्रेट सिग्निफिकेंस एज इट वेलकम्स पीपल ऑफ ऑल फेथ्स टू सीक वन विद गॉड एंड प्लेज अ डिस्टिंग रोल इन नैरोइंग द बाउंड्रीज ऑफ रिलीजन and boosting secularism in the country regarded as one of the greatest sufi saints baba barchi bahadur throughout his life spread the message of sufism and peace it is believed that sufi saint fulfills the wishes of all and nobody returns empty handed from here ye hazrat dargah baba barchi bahadur rahmatullah alay sare 700 saal ka itihas hai iska और यहाँ सबसे बड़ा जो इतिहास है वो आज के दिन देखने को मिलता है कि हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई सबकी यहाँ आस्था और सबकी मतलब मनोकामनाएँ यहाँ से पूरी होती हैं और यहाँ मतलब कोई मतभेद कोई मतलब जो है कि किसी तरीके का कोई भी यहाँ वो नहीं है सब भाईचारे से यहाँ आकर के अपनी मन्नतें मांगते हैं और बाबा का फीसों बरकत हासिल करके जाते हैं Since ages the Sufi saints like Baba Barchi Bahadur propagated the message of spiritualism and harmony in our country and their teachings are still playing a significant role in strengthening the thread of secularism Now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently A biological park in eastern India unveiled four tiger cubs on International Tigers Day in a strong sign of the growing numbers of the country's national animal. Bihar Forest Minister Neeraj Kumar named the four cubs Magad, Vikram, Kesari and Rani at Sanjay Gandhi Biological Park in a small ceremony. Char ke char bachche hain. Charo ka naam hai Magad hai, Vikram hai aur Rani hai. Is tarah se namkaran kiya gaya hai. और हम समझते हैं कि ये बिहार के लिए खुशखबरी की बात है कि बिहार में बाघों की संख्या काफ़ी तेज़ी से बढ़ रही है पूरे राज्य में हम समझते हैं कि वी में हमारे पास काफ़ी बाघों की संख्या है जो पहले 2018 में इसका सेंसस हुआ था जिसमें 31 वन बाघ का आया था अभी फाइनल सेंसस चल रहा है जो इसी महीने में रिपोर्ट आना है तो मुझे लगता है कि फोर्टी के अप्रॉक्स बाघ हमारे पास वी में हो गए हैं The cubs were born a couple of months ago and were under the doctor's care. Three of them are male and one female. India was home to an estimated 40,000 tigers at the turn of the last century, but poaching and loss of habitat brought them to the brink of extinction.
New Delhi saw a star-studded evening with Bollywood celebrities glamming up as they wore creations of various designers at the 11th edition of the India Couture Week. Models were seen walking a red velvet ramp as they flaunted sequined gown and lehengas with feathers sewn into them. The collection is called Meraki and I think it's a ode to the creation and the creator. And what I'm wearing today is an absolutely beautiful creation. The construction is very complicated if you just yes. the back and the front and how it's literally stitched together and it's quite heavy. But I think any bride would you know, feel very comfortable and beautiful in it. And uh, the USB of this outfit for me is the pockets. <laughs> The event, which was organized by the Fashion Design Council of India, exhibited collections from 19 fashion designers. India Couture Week is an annual fashion week that went through a two-year pause owing to the coronavirus pandemic. The last edition was a week-long gala event organized by FDCI. Indian actors Vijay Devrakonda and Ananya Pandey promoted their upcoming sports action film Ligar in country's entertainment capital, Mumbai. Devrakonda and Pandey arrived at a mall where a huge crowd of fans gathered to see a glimpse of the duo. The two actors interacted with fans and posed for photographs during the event. I was in Mumbai for eight years in a sleeper bus. I was in Mumbai for Mumbai. दो दिन रहा इधर और वापस चला गया आठ साल के बाद आज आ रहा हूं इतना प्यार इतना प्यार थैंक यू मुंबई डायरेक्टेड बाय पुरी जगन्नाथ द फिल्म टेल्स द स्टोरी ऑफ अ बॉक्सर प्लेड बाय देवरकोंडा फॉर्मर बॉक्सर माइक टाइसन आल्सो मार्क्स हिज बॉलीवुड डेब्यू विद दिस फिल्म द फिल्म विल हिट द थिएटर्स ऑन ऑगस्ट 25 and will be released in Hindi and regional Telugu languages. And now we will take you to the far-flung area of Doda district of Jammu and Kashmir, where the Urs commemoration brought together people of different religious communities together despite of a higher altitude. Jammu and Kashmir has for long served as the richest reservoir of Sufism with a number of Sufi mystics and saints belonging to the territory. The Dargah of the Doda Pir situated in the Doda area of the territory is a bot of peace and tranquility. Lying in the lap of green mountains, the Urs of the Saint was recently organized which was attended by devotees of different religious communities. <laughs> سرزمین پونچھ ڈوڈا پیر رحمۃ اللہ علیہ کا اور سے پاک بڑا شان و شوکت عقیدت مندی سے منایا گیا جو ہر سال منایا جاتا ہے پچھلے سال بھی لاک ڈاؤن کی وجہ سے اور سے پاک منایا گیا لیکن جس طریقے سے اس سال لوگوں کی تعداد میں اور سے پاک منایا گیا اس طرح جو ہے سابقہ سال نہیں منایا گیا تھا اس سال الحمد کافی تعداد میں دور و دراز سے یہاں ظاہرین حاضر ہوئے جنہوں نے بڑے عقیدت و احترام کے ساتھ یہاں حاضری دی اور یہاں دعائیں مانگی دی درگاہ از سچویٹڈ ایٹ این آلٹیٹیوڈ آف 10259 فیٹ ڈسپائٹ اف دی رین اینڈ بیڈ ویدر ڈیوٹیز فلاک دی درگاہ اینڈ پارٹیسپیٹڈ ان دی ارس وتھ گریٹ ریلیجس فیور Community kitchen or langar was also set up at the outdoors to serve meals as holy sacrament to the devotees coming from different regions. It's been said that the saint fulfills the wishes of all and nobody returns empty-handed from here. Today, the day of the Urus was made every year, but it was not the same as it was the same as it was the same as it was the same. اور موسم خراب ہونے کی وجہ سے بھی پھر بھی بہت سے لوگ جو اس دربار پہ جنہوں نے حاضری دی شکریہ ہم ادا کرتے ہیں انڈین آرمی کا ساتھ میں ہماری ضلع انتظامیہ جو پونچھ کی ہے ان کا بھی بہت بہت شکریہ دی میسج آف پیس اینڈ بردر ہڈ کمس آؤٹ لار فرام دیز ٹارگاس اینڈ دیز سائٹس ہیو بین ایکٹنگ ایز سمبلس آف کمیونل ہارمنی فار ایجز 
India is known around the world for affordable heart surgeries and advanced medical facilities. Though the country's medical tourism was severely hit due to COVID pandemic, it is witnessing revival at a rapid pace with international patients coming in large numbers. India is rapidly emerging as a hub of medical tourism. A rare combination of advanced facilities, skilled doctors, and low-cost treatment is a key contributor to the industry's growth. A large number of patients who seek treatment in India come from Southeast Asia, the Middle East, Africa, and the Sark region. Many of India's medical tourism patients come for bone marrow transplants, alternative medicine, cardiac bypass surgeries, eye surgeries, and hip replacements. This is Boomba from Nigeria, who has come to India for hip replacement surgery. 3D printing technology will be used, which offers new potential for treating complex hip joint diseases. Because of the lower cost, I came from India, I choose India, and I came to India. They, they all the check up, they saw my problem. And the problem was all surgery of uh, hip replacement. They did it well and are okay now. India's medical tourism industry was valued around 3 billion USD in 2015 and was expected to grow to 9 billion USD in 2020 before the COVID 19 pandemic struck. The pandemic took a heavy toll on the then booming sector as countries world over, including India, imposed travel and visa restrictions. As a result, India plummeted from the third rank in 2015 to the 10th rank in 2021 as the most preferred destination for medical care. As travel and visa restrictions began to lift, India's medical tourism industry began to rebound and quickly regain its previous pace of growth. Currently, Indian hospitals who accommodate foreign patients are registering near pre-COVID treatment numbers. We have seen almost 200 to 300 percent increase in last three months. The moment the COVID crisis is settling down, we are seeing a huge influx of international patients who were not able to come to India for last almost three years. So we are seeing a, almost 3 percent, 300 percent rise in the number of uh, OPD as well as uh, inpatients. Uh, after the COVID crisis. Apart from major hospital procedures, Ayurveda, yoga and other wellness treatments in India also attract patients from different countries. The Government of India, through its incredible India tourism campaign, has ventured to develop places like the southern state of Kerala as a hub for medical tourism. According to Kerala government figures, Nearly 35% of the foreign tourists who visit the state are repeat visitors seeking Ayurveda treatments. Observers opine that India will reap massive dividends with its continuous efforts to establish India as a premier destination for medical tourism, another feather in the cap for brand India. And at the end, we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Edemitsu Kosan is an oil refining and oil chemical company in Japan with the world's most urgent mission being carbon neutralization by 2050 Japanese firms like Idemitsu is trying to change their industrial constitution for becoming carbon neutral. In 燃料はですね、木質バイオマスなんですけども、植物がですね、燃える時に CO2というのは排出はするんですけども、そもそも植物がですね、生育している時に光合成で大気中の CO2を吸収していると成長してから炊くまでの一連の流れの中で、CO2
それから宅を使うですね部分、それからお客様に供給する部分、こういったものをサプライチェーンを、一連のサプライチェーンを構築することを今、取り組んでいます。CO2 を排出しないという次世代ビークルですから、この新しいですね4人乗りの車が開発されれば、まあ、それを使ってですね所内の移動もさることながら、社外に出るときもです、ね、使いながら、新しいそういう環境に優しいモビリティの方のアピールを市民の方々にもするとともに、ですね我々もそういう多活動をしているということで、まあ、環境配慮をしているよということをお伝えできればなというふうに思っています。徳山事業所はですね創業以来、やはり地域の皆様が必要とするエネルギーであったり、化学原料を安定的に供給する社会的使命を果たしてきたわけですけれども、まあ、今後のですね持続的社会の構築に向けて、ですねカーボンニュートラルなエネルギーの供給に、それをできる事業所にですね衣替えをしていくと、まあ、それによって、ですねあの社会的な存在意義というのは、果たしていけると思っています。Edemitsu, through its endeavors, hopes to move forward in the direction of achieving carbon neutrality by 2050. The 39th annual New Jersey Lottery Festival of Ballooning set off from a central region of the Garden State. A crowd was on hand in Reddington, New Jersey, for the inflation and start of the festival. Some 175,000 people are expected to take part over the weekend. We're having a media preview. Of a three day family oriented celebration of the magic of ballooning. We have about 45 balloons here today, including these spectacular special shapes. Our signature New Jersey Lottery Sunny Days balloon. You can see the tiger. Unicorn is hiding behind there. Tasmanian Devil, unique photo panda. We are having a spaceship. There's Billy the Kid. Spectacular、uh, presentation. You won't believe your skies this weekend. About 45 balloons are being included and range from ones dedicated to the New Jersey Lottery and Pepsi to those dedicated to tigers and unicorns. The New Jersey Division of Travel and Tourism says the annual festival is the largest summertime hot air balloon and music festival in North America. The clear and cloudy day Friday with calm winds are ideal for flight. The alarming issue around the world right now is that of global warming. This makes summers around the world much hotter than they should be. Different companies slowly and steadily developing heat protection equipment and are coming up with a variety of ideas. This jacket looks like an ordinary suit jacket from the front, however, there's something which makes it unique. This jacket has two fans installed in the back. モテジとウラジの2枚物になってましてその間を空気が流れましてメッシュの方から風が抜け出るという構造になってます作業着というまあイメージが強かったパンツケウェアなんですけどももっとその一般的一般のユーザー様にもいろんなアイテムを着用していただきたいと Clothes with patterns give a cool look to the jacket. These prints are developed using a special printing technology and contains a cool element called Zoltol 接触冷感だと来た瞬間は冷たいんですけどその後なかなか冷たさが持続しないっていうデメリットがありましたでそこであのずっと持続的に冷感を付与するには、まあ、どうしたらいいんだろうっていうことからあの冷感プリントの技術にたどり着きまして汗をかき続けている間はずっと冷たくなるのであのまた新しいこの持続的なテクノロジーなのでこちらをあの企画販売をしています
We wanted to join uh, theatrics of food and food art with actual immersive dining experience to create a first of a time, first time ever, uh, a really uh, nice experience where food is theatrical and there is a storytelling and there is 3D animation on the table and the guests get engaged into food art. So that was the, the, how the idea came about the project. The internationally acclaimed chef for his extraordinary creations recently launched a new concept in Dubai along with his executive chef Daniel Shefford and his business partner Nadine Bashir to engage people with the artworks of Michel Anglo, Bansky and Pablo Picasso, Jackson Pollock, Andy Warhol, Salvador Dali and Vincent van Gogh all presented on the guest table. During the two-hour dining experience, guests are not only transported to the artist's world, but they also get to feel like painters themselves as they try to paint famous artworks themselves, which they can enjoy eating afterwards. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at ani.com. I'm your host, Hina Joshi. It's goodbye from the entire production team.